Hi, YouTube MS community. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and I'm making my second Come As I Am video. Here I am. Um, this one is about chemotherapy and MS. When I was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, it was pretty much after a couple of years of, of relapsing before they knew that it was multiple sclerosis. I wasn't diagnosed till I was 52, but I clearly had had it since at least my 20s. Um, and the two years before I was diagnosed were just, you know, a nightmare, um, at least two years. Anyway, um, shortly after my neuro made the, the first, you know, the final definition and put me on uh, the drug that I chose, I chose Copaxone. Um, I mean, literally less than a month later, I suffered a major relapse because Copaxone takes six months to a year to get into your system. I've now been on it a couple of years. But what he said to me, and um, I have to trust him because he is so well respected and so not involved with the drug companies, um, that he doesn't go for the big shot drug stuff and will do very novel, interesting things. and. Um, people drive hundreds of miles to see him but what he does I think I explained in one of my videos is if he sees someone progressing badly which he thought I was and thought that you know the way things were I might find myself in a nursing home in a couple of years um, if I didn't do something more drastic than just the DMDs and the DMAs whatever you want to call them and his choice is to use chemotherapy before he uses Tysabri. He will use Tysabri, but um, uh, he's not a huge fan of it, and he will definitely use it, but uh, his first choice is chemotherapy with steroids on a monthly infusion basis. And that's not really popular, or nor has it been highly studied, because the drug cyclophosphamide, or cytoxin, is, um, and generic and cheap as all get out so nobody wants to spend any money on doing the studies that uh, you know would bring in big big profits because it just won't um, although there have been you know a bunch of studies done and I've been reading as many as I can basically what cyclophosphamide or cytoxin does is it tries to suppress your immune, immune system because the blood brain barrier has been crossed by T cells or immune cells that um, cannot be stopped in the uh, with, with just the DMDs. Cytoxin will cross the blood brain barrier, suppress the immune system, and it is used in doses that are extremely low compared to what cytoxin is used for in breast cancer patients or in other forms of cancer. It's uh, also used in lupus and, and other autoimmune diseases to try to suppress an immune system and I've got really an overactive immune system that's for sure um, so anyway I was on it for six months and then I had to stop because I was on antibiotics forever for two Lyme disease tick bites that but were from deer ticks that caused the rash and the whole bit and I had to prevent it from turning into Lyme disease which it apparently thank God has done that um, anyway Leaving CCSPI aside for me for now, since I can't just walk out the door and get it, um, I wondered if anybody else was using cytoxin or chemotherapy treatment for multiple sclerosis and what your thoughts were on it and what um, experience you had with it. I know there are a lot of people that I talk to that have never heard of it, and that's because, again, it is not a a drug that's going to bring in any money for anybody and um, my doctor has been using it in some patients for 10 years to stop the progression of the disease successfully and he's even used it in 70 year old patients that uh, he was diagnosed at the age of 70 finally with multiple sclerosis at least I didn't have to wait that long but um, I now started monthly I've done it two times now and it's at a low dose because um, you don't need it that high to try to suppress the immune system and it's also much safer uh, reportedly its major problems are you know typical nausea and the other kind of stuff that goes along with chemotherapy but the dose is so low I don't even really experience that 
and it's boosted by a gram of Solumedrol every month. And, you know, I've got concerns about taking the steroids every month, and of course I've got concerns about taking the Cytoxin. And as I said, it's major possible side effect, and it's usually seen with people getting um, very large doses of it for cancer is that it can cause bladder cancer. So you have to make sure you really drink a lot to flush it out of your system after you take it. But it's not a huge worry with people, and he's had no problems with that occurring in any of his patients over all of his years of practice. So I wanted to know if anybody else out there had any experience with chemotherapy and multiple sclerosis. Um, I know it might sound unusual to some of you, but um, this is what my doc does prior to Tysabri. I mean, he will go to Tysabri if that doesn't work. And someone's progressing and and frankly I haven't progressed um, haven't been become undisabled and that's not its intention its intention is to stop the progression and um, I'm on a six-month course of it right now and I guess I'll go for my next infusion too and I just want to see if anybody else had any experience with it so uh, hope you're all having a great day it's great to join you take care bye-bye Marianne signing out